Howdy, welcome to ENGL 1010 section IO2 for summer 2024. My name is Eric Fish, I'll be teaching the course. And with this first video, I want to you know, get you into show you D2L a little bit, uh, review the syllabus very quickly. You can read faster than I can talk, so I'm not gonna read through, through the entire syllabus. Uh, but just kind of show you where everything is and how the course is going to work. Um, so once you're in D2L, uh, one, what you pretty much always want to do is come up here and check your email. Uh, if you do this while you're inside a course, you'll only see emails uh, from that course. Uh, so if you're in my class and you check email, then you won't see you know, emails from your math teacher or sociology teacher or anybody else. So make sure before you get into a particular course, you check your email. And you should be checking your email you know, at least once a day. Uh, not done at the, you know, one particular time, but you know, at least once a day you want to check it and see what's going on. And also make sure you know how to check it on your phone. Um, just saying, I don't have my computer, so I couldn't check email. It's like, well, no, you have your phone, right? So check your email. Um, make sure you know how to access D2L with your phone. But we're going to go ahead and get into the course. I'm going to get in there as a student. Uh, generally, with the course, uh, on the course homepage, you're going to see, a, a, right now it says, Welcome to Comp 1, but eventually you start seeing reminders about what's coming due. Uh, you'll also see uh, things coming due here in the calendar area um, but uh, you'll see the toolbar going across the top and again if you're familiar with d2l you kind of like i'm gonna go faster but there's gonna be a few people in this class who've never been in d2l before so um kind of be patient as i review some things um I don't know, one important area is the class list uh, that'll list everybody in the course and if you want to email me it's the easiest way is just come to the class list click on my name and the email function will come up uh, be careful when you're here. Uh, if you click this button and email, you're about to email the whole class. So make sure you kind of take a look at you know who's in the <laughs> who you're sending it to before you send an email to everybody. Uh, but this is how I email the entire class when I send out reminders and things like that. Uh, another important area is the content page. That's where the course material is going to be. Uh, it always opens to the last page you you were at before you left. Uh, so you're like well you know. Where's, where's the syllabus? Well, you're on essay assignments right now, so you need to come to course documents. Uh, and here you'll see the class schedule, the course syllabus, uh, the first two assignments. Uh, if you scroll down, or I gotta get in the table of contents, hold on. If you scroll down, then you'll see the essay assignments, um, then the journal entries. And I'm gonna do videos on each assignment as we, as we move along. Uh, but I'm just kind of showing you where they are right now. Uh, the videos will be uh, here. And uh, there's also a help resources page with sample essays and things like that, which I'll be referring to throughout the class. So if I say something on the content page, uh, this is where I'm, I'm pushing you to go. Uh, over here under assignments is where you're going to submit work. Um, so if I say I haven't received your introduction paragraph, you come here and it says not submitted, that means I'm right. <laughs> uh, if it does say you've submitted something, you want to get in there, make sure you submitted the right things, things like that. Uh, but the nice thing about D2L is it kind of records everything we do. Uh, so if we make a mistake or something, we can go back and see what it was and fix it. Um, but when I say submit it through the assignments Dropbox folder, these are the folders I'm talking about. Um, what else? So uh, probably not going to do a discussion board in this class. I've, I've asked previous summer courses. Uh, I've been teaching at Northeast State for 23 years now. Uh, and generally, Confluence students, particularly on the Internet, aren't – they're not – too eager to be involved in a discussion board unless it's relevant to the class. And generally with Comp 1, I don't, I don't use them very much. Um, sometimes students are interested in grades. I'm joking. <laughs> Everybody's interested in grades, right? Um, and here you'll see a list listing of all the grades we're going to do in the class. Um, if I ever make a mistake, if I transpose a grade or, or do something weird like that, uh, be sure to let me know and I'll fix it right away. Don't, don't be shy about saying, hey, I thought I had a 30 out of 30 on the first three journals, but you gave me a 24. I might have just put somebody else's grade in, in your space there. Uh, just to see how easy it is for me to do that. Uh, if I go to grades, this is what I see as the instructor. Uh, I see all these little boxes going all the way across my screen. Um, so, if, you know, if you have a name similar to somebody else or... I just have a brain fart. It's pretty easy for me to put the wrong grade in the wrong box. I don't do it very, very often, but it does happen. So again, if there's ever a problem with the grade, if it doesn't look right, 
um, let me know uh, because at the end of the semester, I download the D2L gradebook and uh, submit it for the grades uh, for the course. Uh, but it's a nice way you can keep track of grades as we're going along and see where you're at in the class. Um, really, that's about all we're going to be working with. <coughs> uh, if you're looking for something and you have a smaller screen, make sure you might have to hit this more button to see everything in, uh, up there. Um, but that's kind of how D2L works. It's all up there. Um, and what I want to do is kind of go over the syllabus and the class schedule. So I'm going to go to content. Uh, these are under course documents. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and download this real quick. It's easier for me to see. Just pull up. Uh, but this is the course syllabus. Uh, again, this is an internet class. We are not going to meet as a full group uh, at any time during the semester. I'm happy to meet you know, via Zoom or something if you have questions about what your work or things like that. Uh, but generally, we're not going to meet as a class. Uh, be sure to start thinking about your schedule a little bit. Uh, assignments are due um, by midnight or 11.59 p.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. <coughs> I found students just submit work once a week. Once a week. Uh, they tend to wait till the very last minute, and it's, it's not good. So we're going to spread the work out. Uh, make sure uh, you, you arrange your schedule accordingly. You can always turn material, material in early or submissions in early, right? Um, so if you, you if Monday night's a big night for you at work or something, maybe get it in on Sunday. Um, uh, generally, students don't want to come to my office. Uh, online students don't. Um, I'm happy to meet you in my office if you want to, but generally we use Zoom meetings. Uh, and of course, you know, lots of uh, emails through D2L. If you're ever confused about something, you can't find something, you want to email me as soon as possible. Even if it's obviously right there on the content or page or something, that, that's not a problem. Uh, it's easy to get turned around, especially if you have more than one class during the summer and just have a hard time finding something. Email me, say, I can't find this particular assignment. Uh, sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to post that or, oh, yeah, I forgot to uh, release that. So um, always communicate. Um, course description, this is Comp 1, so you're going to be doing writing. Uh, the whole point of this class is to learn to write better, to uh, incorporate research into our writing. We're going to be working with MLA and APA formatting with our essays. Um, so a lot going on there, uh, but basically we're trying to work on better writing, particularly college level writing, uh, and college level essays and, uh, learn how to do those. Uh, if you want to see the grading breakdown, one, you can go to the D2L grade, grade sheet or grade of uh, the grade book area. Uh, but also on the syllabus, there's a little area at the end that shows you all the work we're going to do in the class. Uh, we're going to start with the self-regulated learner essay. Uh, then move on to longer, more complex essays, and that's why they're worth more points. Um, along the way, we'll be doing journal entries, and we'll be working with some exercises, peer reviews, things like that. Uh, add up all the points. There's 1,000 points for the course. 90% is an A, 80% is a B, 70% is a C. Hopefully nobody gets below that. Uh, but if you like to write down your grades as you go along, that's you can print off that last page and do that. Uh, some course policies. Again, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but I want to go over the kind of the important ones, at least from my point of view. Uh, and if they're boxed and bolded <laughs> right there under course policies, um, that that's where the problems have always been with internet courses, particularly Comp 1. Uh, if you have an issue or concern, let me know as soon as possible. Uh, if you can't find something, let me know. If you're just not understanding something, let me know. Uh, and, you know, and I'm here to help, right? Uh, the, but the goal is for us to get, you know, get as many students as possible to the end of the course. Uh, and if I, I don't know if you have a problem and I can't help you and, uh, then, you know, it doesn't work out well. Um, so don't, don't ever think you're bothering me or you're sending to me emails or anything like that. Uh, you know, I'm here to help, uh, but I can't help if I don't know the problem. I can't see through, uh, I don't, I don't have the ability to see through, you know, through your computer there. So I guess if I did, I wouldn't tell you either. So, <laughs> but I don't, uh, make sure you save your work in more than one place. Um, you know, even if you're using Google Docs, right? I mean, if everybody loses their Google Docs, we're probably in the middle of a nuclear war. Uh, but if you have a bad breakup and your ex decides to delete all your Google files, you got a problem, right? And then, so make sure you have a backup somewhere, save it down to your computer at times, particularly when you get towards the final version of an essay or some major assignment. Make sure you have that saved somewhere else. Email it to yourself. Um, do something. Don't just have it in one place. Um, 
but I have a, I have a granddaughter who likes to just tap on my computer. <laughs> and she can delete things. It's amazing how quickly a, a two-year-old can get to the delete function in, in whatever program you're in. Um, it's an internet class. We're, we're probably never going to cancel a class. Um, and if, you know, some cataclysmic event occurs, we'll have to work with that. Um, had a couple of major storms where half the area didn't have electricity for a couple of days. Things like that, we may have to make adjustments. But generally, you no know, class isn't going to be canceled. Uh, class structure, internet access, vacations, uh, kind of a big one for summer courses. Uh, we're not meeting as a full class at any time. Uh, things are due Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, be sure that you can access D2L on your phone. Uh, if you get stuck at work or something and you, you can't quite get to your you know, computer to submit something, send me a quick email. I'm probably going to be fine with it. Um, but you know, like with peer reviews, I'm not going to wait on you. I'm going to start sending them out once so I get the submissions in. Um, and if you don't let me know you're, you, you know, you're about to you know, submit it, you know, I, I can't wait on you. Uh, so be sure to communicate. Um, also, if you're going out of town, make sure you arrange for internet access. Uh, and just because your hotel doesn't have internet, keep them at every McDonald's, every public library, every college campus. Uh, every, every, the internet access is everywhere. Uh, so don't just, you know, sit in your hotel rooms like, well, I can't get the internet. It's like, well, get up and go find internet, right? Um, sometimes if you have a, like if you have a condo and the internet sucks, sometimes you can sneak into a hotel lobby and use their internet. I mean, there's all kinds of uh, ways to do that. And you're going to find that you don't really have to be on the internet a lot uh, in this class just to submit things and, um, and, and things like that. But uh, make sure you have access. Um, I've had some students like go on long cruises and they didn't want to pay for the internet on the boat because it's very expensive. Um, you know, you're, you're not participating in the class all of a sudden, right? Uh, so be careful. Um, and again, um, if you run into a problem, let me know as soon as possible. Make sure you know how to send uh, emails to D2L on your phone. Uh, and this one, uh, make sure you're meeting all the assignment deadlines. Um, in terms of, I want to see your topic, I want to see your first two paragraphs, you got to submit the draft, you got to do the peer reviews. Uh, if you just kind of pop, you know, throw an essay at me, and that's looking like it's a, particularly a AI generated, and you haven't met those steps, I may not grade it, so be careful there. Uh, you cannot use AI or, you know, ChatGPT or BARD or anything like that in this course. Um, good way to know you're doing it, if it's writing your sentences for you, you're cheating. <laughs> um, Sometimes uh, the different uh, programs uh, will kind of pop up as AI. Um, Grammarly does that sometimes. Uh, if it's just grammar checking you, you're not cheating. But if it's writing the sentences for you, yeah, that's a problem, right? So be careful. Make sure you understand what's going on there. Uh, if you need me to clarify that, uh, we'll definitely do that when we start getting towards the essay assignments. Uh, be sure to let me know. Uh, and let me know before you submit the work. If it just you send me something that says 100% AI generated on the plagiarism detector, uh, we're going to have a problem, right? Um, and of course, uh, kind of kind of read through that section. I'm not going to read it word for word. Uh, but if I really think you could uh, send send me something that's AI generated, we may have to meet in my office, and I might quiz you about the writing process, where you got your sources, what your essay is about, things like that. So be careful there. That's kind of uh, comp one and comp two are kind of ground zero for these um, uh, artificial intelligence tool uh, use. Uh, so be careful there. The rest, um, hopefully it all makes sense. Um, uh, if you're a dual enrollment student and you sign that FERPA waiver um, uh, and I get an email from your, one of your parents, uh, I'm not going to answer that because I don't know which parent says, you know, uh, you signed that waiver for. Uh, also, generally with email, if I send it to my Northeast State email address, uh, I don't know who they are, right? Anybody can uh, send me an email. Um, so generally, I'll, you know, if you got a, if you got a problem like that, uh, I'll generally want a third person there. Uh, so, you know, if your parents email me and say, what, how's my kid doing in class? I'm going to be like, hey, ask your kid. All the grades are in D2L. Well. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, so that, that might be a little confusing if you're if you're, if you're not a dual enrollment student, you may have probably doesn't apply to you. The rest of this should be fairly straightforward. Uh, dropping a class is an important one. Um, if you kind of get into the first couple of weeks and think, I've just too much work, I'm going to 
drop my math class or you just quit attending and you never do the paperwork, uh, your instructor could put zeros down for all the grades at the end, you get an F, right? You usually get an F for uh, FA for non-attendance. This could really wreck your uh, um, Tennessee Promise or your financial aid. So uh, be careful there. Also make sure you call financial aid before you drop a class. Make sure you're not gonna really mess that up. Um, again, if some like a, a Tennessee Promise, if you drop below full time, uh, you can lose that Tennessee Promise forever. Uh, so be careful there. The rest is pretty straightforward. Um, but if you have questions, again, you're going to do a syllabus quiz. That's why I'm not reading through this entire thing. Um, there's something else I wanted to say there. Well, popped in my head, went right back out. Anyway, um, for the class schedule, uh, you're going to come here to class schedule. I'll go ahead and download that. I uh, got it all in one page, so it's easy to print out. Well, I tried to. Now it's on two pages. But anyway, uh, just print the first page. Um, for Friday the 31st, uh, and you got to see it. Everything's are spread out three days a week. Um, but that means there's, you know, it's not like a huge assignment due every day. Uh, kind of break it up into you know, baby steps or chunking it as we uh, <laughs> told our kids when we homeschooled them, uh, making it easier step-by-step -step process. Uh, so the first weekend, you're just watching these videos. This is YouTube video number one. Uh, the video is showing you how to do the introduction, introduction paragraph and the syllabus quiz are videos two and three. Um, and then after that, uh, we're going to be working with the journal entries. I'll do a video on that. Uh, but what you're going to see is the same basic process as we go through the four different essay assignments. Uh, we're going to start with pre-writing, uh, which is watching a video, maybe some exercises. Uh, the journal entries are free writing exercises designed to get you ready for the first, you know, for, for the essay. Uh, so all this kind of uh, pre-writing stuff, getting you ready for the essay. And of course, you're going to read the essay assignment, ask questions if you don't understand it. Um, then we're going to get into drafting, which is the second step. We're actually doing the writing. Um, we do that in stages. Again, I want to see the first, I want to see the first two paragraphs of your essay, make sure you're on the right track. Uh, there's nothing worse than writing an entire essay and having the instructor go like, no, that's not what I want. It's like, well, I just wrote the whole essay. Uh, no, I want to see the first two paragraphs before you get too far along. Uh, if you're someone who likes to get ahead of things or just your schedule kind of forces you to you know, be a day or two early, uh, send me an email. Say, hey, I just sent my first two paragraphs. Can you get them, get, get, get them back to me if, if at all possible? Now, generally, I'm, I'm going to try and keep – if people want to work ahead, I'll try and keep you working ahead. Now, if, you know, if you want to get two weeks ahead, that's a little too fast. <laughs> uh, you're kind of getting away from the group. Um but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to encourage you to work ahead. Um, then you're going to submit the draft. Um, we're going to either do self-reviews. Um, then for the larger essays, we're going to be doing peer reviews. Um, with the peer reviews, you're going to switch out papers and other people try and help you while you try to help them. Uh, the first essay, kind of seeing where everybody's at with the first one, make sure we can use D2L. Uh, it's just a basic five-part essay back, you know, from, the, back from high school. Uh, but I want to kind of see, get everybody, you know, starting at the same place. Uh, for some people in this class, high school might have been the last century. So, <laughs> like it was for me. Um, other people, you may have just graduated two weeks ago, right? Uh, so, um, but you got to see that same process where we do pre-writing, then we do the drafting, then we do the revising and the editing and peer reviewing. Uh, then the last step is going to be uh, um, submitting for final grade. Uh, then we're going to start that process again uh, with the journals and for the academic plan and resume for the career essay. Um, but we're going to start with the self-regulated learner essay. Then we're going to move on to a career essay. And the career essay is really more about college. Um, what do you, what kind of certifications, what kind of degrees do you need to get to the particular field you're getting into? Um, what other options might you have? Uh, and and just so a lot of it's not just the career itself, but how do you get from point A to point B? Uh, some students have a nice, clear plan, so the essay might be a little easier. Other people are like, uh, what? I've never seen my advisor. I didn't know I had one. <laughs> I didn't, you know, how long does it take to actually get a two-year degree? It's kind of an interesting question. Uh, if you're in learning support courses, it could take you two and a half, three years to get to your degree, right? Uh, our two-year nursing degree actually generally takes students more than two years. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting question. And if you're going to transfer to another college, so, but anyway, we'll get into that once we get to that essay.
Uh, then we're going to move on to an APA medical essay. You're going to tell the story of someone's, uh, someone's experiences with disease and put the research into the context of that story. Uh, the tricky part with this one is we're going to use it, move to a different type of uh, documentation. Uh, MLAs, probably what you were used to in high school with modern language association formatting. Uh, APA is the American Psychological Association. Uh, it's generally more used in college, uh, particularly sociology, psychology, uh, health professions use that, uses APA formatting. Uh, so it's good to have some experience with that. They're not radically different, just different enough to be annoying. Uh, and we'll see what we're going to do for essay number four. I may ask you all what you want to feel like writing about. Uh, I have a, kind of a favorite topic I like to use, but sometimes I'll, I'll throw it back, particularly with summer students. Um, and generally we try to finish maybe just a little bit early. Um, in the one, in case something happens, we want to have a couple of buffer days. Um, but then we'll just finish with those last journals. Um, so pretty set schedule. Uh, again, kind of, kind of start making plans for, you know, getting things in on Monday night, Wednesday night, Friday nights. Um, and figure out how you're going to do that. And again, you can always turn stuff in early. And if you get, like I say, if you get into a real, real bind, you know, some your boss says, you know, you need to work till 2 a.m. today. And you're like, well, I got these journals due. Send me a quick email say, I'll get the journals in here, you know, as soon as I get home uh, tonight. And I'll, one, I probably won't be up, <laughs> but uh, uh, that's generally going to be fine. Um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Again, um, I'm going to be posting videos showing you how to do things. Uh, here's a video to show you how to do the introduction paragraph in Word, how to do it in Google Docs, and then how to complete the syllabus quiz and submit it. Um, and that first, well, the first couple of days is just uh, getting used to D2L. Let's see if we'll pop it up. Uh, seeing if you can get stuff in, make sure you get it in the right format and things like that. Uh, one policy that I, I probably needed to touch on <coughs> is that you're going to be submitting uh, your work in, in Microsoft Word format. Uh, so if you're in Google Docs, you got to convert it, you got to down, download it as Word um, to your computer and then upload it into the assignments Dropbox folder. Um, uh, sometimes I'll ask for the essays to be in Word and PDF. Uh, PDFs take a picture of your essay so it doesn't change the formatting. Uh, so we're, this first week, probably going to have some problems. You know, we got to work things out. Um, so we can do that. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, but the big, big important question, uh, the, the big point with all this, make sure you have, if you have questions, you ask them. Uh, don't, don't sit at home just staring at your computer like, I don't know what this guy wants. Because I'm, I'm at my house going like, man, I'm the greatest English teacher ever, right? I explained that perfectly. Uh, so we got to find that middle ground and make sure uh, you can get the work in. Um, but if you have questions, again, let me know. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.